For this project, you'll be playing the role of an analyst at a hospital. We'll be looking at hospital emergency room data. The objective is to analyze staffing ratios. We have data that shows patients per day, nurse hours per day worked, and we want to show what we actually staffed in terms of nurse hours versus what was the standard that we should have staffed, and then compute a variance. Now the assumption here is that the staffing standard is four patients per one nurse full-time equivalent. And a nurse full-time equivalent is computed as 12 hours. So think about a nurse shift. One 12-hour shift is equal to a full-time nurse. Let's take a quick look at the data sets we'll be working with. I'm going to open hours data first. And it's just a simple table that shows the staffing date and how many hours were worked on that day. The second table we'll be working with is called patient data. And this just shows the date and the count of emergency room patients. Let's go ahead and load the data into Power BI. Here I have a blank PBIX file open. I'm going to go to Get Data from Excel Workbook. I'm going to navigate to my directory. Oh, let me close that. And let's load the hours data first. So click it. It's going to ask us which sheet we want to load. I always click Transform Data to open the query editor so I can see if anything is off. In this case, it looks OK. So let's go ahead and load it to the data model. We can see now that the data shows up here. Here are the two fields. It is also present in our table view and also our model view. Let's go ahead and load the second file, get data from Excel workbook. This time we're going to choose the patient data. Let's select the correct sheet. Let's go to transform to open the query editor. Everything looks okay. Let's load this to the model, close and apply. And now that table is also present in my navigation over here, as well as in the table view as well as in the model view. Okay, we need what is known as a calendar table. It's gonna be a separate table that links these two tables based on their common date fields. It's very easy to create in Power BI. Let's go ahead, let's go to our data view. New table. We're gonna create this table via a DAX function. Let's name our table calendar and let's set it equal to the calendar function. DAX wants us to enter a start and end date for our calendar table. So let's say date. The first occurrence of our data is in 2019, 4-1. Now let's put in the end date. The last occurrence of our data is 2020, 10, 30. Let's go ahead and click the check mark. Okay, we have a table now that starts at 4-1 and ends at 10-30. Let's go ahead and format this table so that it does not show the time. Now back in our data model, we can see the calendar table we just created. Let's now create the relationship between these two tables and the calendar. Let's click date and drag it to the date field in this table. And let's click date and drag it to the date field here. What we now have is a unified model for the reporting to refer to. In our final reports, anytime we refer to a date, we must pull it from this table, not the dates up here. This is going to be the common linkage that ties these together. Okay, before we start building our report, we have to create a few DAX measures. Let's go into the data view. Let's create a first measure that is the total patients for a given day. So let's right click anywhere in the patient data area and click new measure. And I'm going to name this total patients. And it's simply going to be the sum 
of our patients from that table. Let's click OK here. Let's create a second measure that is the FTEs, the nurse FTEs. We're going to take the hours, nurse hours, and divide it by 12. 12 hours equates to one full-time equivalent nurse. Right click, new measure. Let's name this FTEs. Let's set it equal to the nurse hours divided by 12. Let's now compute another measure that shows us the actual staffing ratio that was worked for a day. So let's right click down here, new measure, staffing ratio act for actual. And I'm going to set that equal to the total patients measure I created divided by the nurse FTEs. So this will show me for a given day how many patients there were per nurse full-time equivalent. Let's commit that. Now let's add another measure for our staffing ratio standard. Right click, new measure. Staffing ratio standard. Let's set that equal to the value four. That is our target ratio. Now let's create one last measure that is the variance between actual staffing ratio and the standard. So let's right click anywhere. New measure, I'm going to name it variance, and we're defining that as our standard, excuse me, our actual minus our standard. Let's click OK. So all of these measures now live in the data model. They will be available for me to pull into any report we create. The thing to know about measures is that they are filter context dependent, meaning if I pull this into a report and I then restrict the report to a certain range of days, these measures will recompute to properly show the values for that day range. It's a very critical concept. It's a key thing to know about measures. OK, we're ready to start building the report. I'm going to go up and click the Report tab. It's going to bring me to a blank canvas. I'm going to go ahead and click Matrix Type Visual. It's going to appear over here. Let's expand it a bit. I'd like to choose a matrix to get started because it's most similar to a pivot table. So here we have the Rows, Columns, and Values field. And we can just simply click and drag and build our report. Let's start by pulling in the date from the calendar table we created. I'm going to pull that into the rows field. Here we can see our dates. Let's go ahead and pull in the total patients in values. OK, total patients by date. How many nurse hours, total hours, were worked on any given day? Let's pull that in. 44 hours. What does that equate to in nurse full-time equivalents? So we have our FTEs measure. Let's pull that in. And what does that equate to as far as a staffing ratio? So how many patients per nurse FTEs were run on this day? So let's pull in staffing ratio actual. That equates to a ratio of 5.18 patients per full-time nurse for that day. Let's go ahead and pull in our standard just as a informational field. So our staffing ratio standard. We wanted to hit four, but we ran 5.18. Now let's pull in our variance field so we can see the difference. So the variance for that day was 1.18 to the positive. For this day, 0.68 to the negative. And this table is somewhat interactive where a user can scroll down and see all the results. Let's make a quick chart, a bar chart, of the day-by-day -day variance. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of runway. Let's click the bar chart type here. It's going to bring up a blank visual. Let's pull in the date field from calendar. 
onto our x-axis. Now let's, for the y-axis, let's pull in the variance, the day-to-day -day staffing ratio variance. And there we can see a day-to-day -day read, whether we were above standard or below standard. And the thinking here is we could examine this for any trends that might be evident. Are we improving, declining, so on and so forth. So I know I went somewhat quick in this video, so feel free to pause and rewind. And of course, I always thank you for checking this out, especially if you made it this far. Please feel free to send me a message, comment, any questions, let me know. I hope to see you next time.